Hey, it's Jeremy from WebsiteBuilderExpert.com. In this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the basic Weebly elements. If you watched the previous tutorials that I've shown you how to get the basic Weebly website set up and the overview of how Weebly actually works, now it's time to start building your website. So in the basic elements, which is on the basic uh, button right here, these are the, the key building tools that you need to start building your website. The first thing you will want to do is probably pull down a title text. This will set the tone for what this page is about. So I'm just going to type in title for the page as an example. Right after that, what some people might do is insert a divider, which gives a nice dividing line to isolate the title and the other content on the page. And you can configure the divider spacing by clicking on it and this little box will open and you can select you want to have a smaller space between the title and the line or no or have it uh, extra large. So I tend to like to use small. Right after that, just coming back to the basic elements, um, you can start inserting images or paragraphs and whatnot. So why don't we just pull down an image. Click into the image uh, element to start uploading your pictures. You can click here to upload for a computer or if you have the folder open already, you can just drag and drop an image into it. So for this example, I'm just going to drag this image here. And as you can see, it uploads really quickly. But a lot of times, you don't want just an image right in the middle of the body. So what I can do is pull down a multi-column uh, element and just drag and drop this image directly into one of the columns, either on the right-hand side or on the left-hand side. And on the right, I can either pull down another picture element to insert another picture. If I don't want to, I can just click this little cross here to delete the element. I can pull down a paragraph to maybe give some description to this image to the left. Click into it and I got some pre-existing um, uh, text here already. And in the middle here you can you can maneuver the, uh, the dividing line between the two columns to resize your image to, or to enlarge it. If I really want to and I can make this a three column by clicking on the number right here and I can drag and drop any of the other elements into the third column, but I'm just going to click two. Directly below it, I might want to insert a paragraph with picture element. And here I'm enabled to insert a title. And as usual, I can just drag and drop any one of these um, images into the, uh, the Weebly element here. Oh, it's super simple and I can also have some of the text. At the same time, um, if I click into this, I can edit the image. Either I can crop it, resize it, um, change the opacity, as you can see here, or you can control the fading level and have other effects I can rotate as well. And these are all within the, uh, the simple editing tool that Weebly allows you to have. So the next tutorial, we're going to cover other basic elements such as uh, the contact form, custom HTML, and the search box.